Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top tips and hacks when it comes to motorbike touring, camping and everything else. So, some of these tips may seem fairly obvious and some may seem very helpful. My first one is wrapping a cable around the front brake to stop the bike rolling forwards. This will prevent it coming off the side stand when you park it on a very steep hill or on a ferry. My next tip is keeping a good electrical setup under your bike. These are incredibly cheap nowadays and can be incredibly helpful when camping as you can charge your phone, your camera, your sat nav and any other little devices you may want to carry with you. My next tip is how to stop your visor from fogging up. Simply spray on some Gillette shaving gel, rub it in thoroughly and then buff it off with a cloth. Once you've removed it all, it will be nice and fog free. My next tip is always carry spare key rings. These are incredibly useful when your zips break because if you pull the tag off, you can always thread one through and it can become your new zip. This can be used on tank bags, coats or even tents anything that's got a zip. Next, if you're planning any long distance touring, it's probably best to run a can of petrol additive through your engine. This will blast out any carbon deposits and anything that may be causing a slight misfire. In the past, I've had side bags split open from having too much stuff in them. So a way to get around this and release the pressure from the seams and the zips is simply wrap a bungee cord around each of the bags. This will compress all the contents of the bag and hopefully prevent your zips from breaking and your seams from splitting. Next, if you're ever caught in the rain, simply carry a bin bag under your seat. This can be used as a makeshift poncho in the event that you get stuck in heavy rain. Now the best way to wear the bag is to wear it actually under your coat because this way it's going to keep all your underclothes dry and it will also stop the wind from flapping the bag around but at least you'll be dry underneath. Next, if you've been touring in the rain for a while and your boots have got a bit damp and you've got a bit of time to dry them out simply cram loads of newspaper into the boots. Newspaper is highly absorbent and will take out the majority of the moisture although you will need to change the newspaper every couple of hours. Have you ever had your visor full of flies after a long ride? To remove these, simply cover them with a wet cloth and this will re-moisturise all of the flies on the visor, making it far easier just to wipe them off. Also, by re-moisturising the flies, it will stop their crispy bodies from scratching your visor. To remind you that you've put a brake disc lock on, or some other lock hidden away on your bike that you're not easily going to remember, simply place an elastic band on your handlebar. This should jog your memory. You can now get a petrol container, which is a lot smaller than the car sized ones, that you can keep in your backpack. This should alleviate any worry of running out of fuel before you make the next garage. If you're thinking of going camping and you need to park your bike on grass, then you're going to want to consider a side stand plate. Alternatively, if you don't have one available at the time, a crushed can can make a good one as well. This will stop your side stand sinking into the mud and then your bike falling over. Dog tags are becoming increasingly more popular, however it's probably best to keep a card with all your details on, on your outside jacket pocket. This way if you have an accident, the emergency services can find out who you are quicker. For the world's smallest bike lock, simply take a mini padlock and put it through the links in your chain. Not the most secure, but it's a deterrent. If you're ever unfortunate enough to go to a car park where they make motorbikes pay, always have a pen handy to write motorcycle and your number plate on the ticket. This will stop passers-by coming along and nicking your ticket. Also take a picture in case it blows off your bike. If you're planning a long distance tour, try and avoid entering towns and cities between 5 and 6.30 p.m. After a long ride, it can be very stressful riding in rush hour traffic. Most modern phones nowadays have a high power consumption, which is why I keep this little cheap model under my bike seat. This lasts for 45 days on standby, so ideal to get you out of trouble. 
If you can't work out which way is north on your map, simply point the hour hand of your watch at the sun and halfway between the hour hand and 12 o'clock is north. This only works in the northern hemisphere and only in good weather. There are still a handful of hotels out there nowadays that don't have a fridge in the room. If you desperately need a fridge, simply fill up the sink with cold water and place your goods in sealed bags. If you need your water colder, you can simply go out and buy some ice or go down to the bar and ask for a glass of ice to add to your water. If you ever get stuck without a tin opener, like I did when I was touring Cornwall, simply take your tin can outside, find a flat surface like a paving slab or the pavement and start scraping away at the can. After about 30 seconds to a minute you would have broken the seal around the edge of the can and this will allow you to remove the lid. You now have access to your contents. If you plan to light a fire when you hit your campsite, simply empty the fluff from your tumble dryer filter and cram it into a toilet roll tube. This makes an incredibly good slow burning fire starter. In fact, I've known it to last for up to 15 minutes before. So, those were my top tips. I hope you found some of them helpful and I'll be back with another tour soon.